Hey guys, it's Mike from Conquer Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be going over how to calculate the average atomic mass uh, when you're given the percent abundances of isotopes. So for example, if we take a look at this one, this is calculate the average atomic mass of nitrogen given that there's two isotopes of nitrogen, nitrogen 14 and nitrogen 15. These are the exact weight of each of the isotopes and these are the percent abundance of each of the isotopes. So the percent abundance, the way you could think about this is just what percentage of all the, all the nitrogen sample is that particular isotope. So this is telling us that 99.63% of all the nitrogen is approximately nitrogen-14, and approximately 0.37% of all the nitrogen is nitrogen-15. So when you're given a situation like this where you have the percent abundance and the mass of the isotopes and you have to calculate the average atomic mass, you can do a weighted average. So the first step is just to convert, is to take uh, the, ice, the mass of one of the isotopes, so 14.03074, multiply it by the percentage in decimal form. So take, essentially take the percentage and divide it by 100. So for, for each of these, we can divide by 100 and divide by 100 to get it into decimal form. So that will give us 0 0.9963 and then this will give us 0 0.0037. So then you take the mass and you multiply it by the uh, percentage in decimal. So that will be 0 0.9963 for nitrogen 14 and then you add the the mass of the other isotope 15.000108 multiply it by its percent abundance in decimal form 0 0.0037 and then you just put that into the calculator and you'll get the average and that comes out to be 14.007 uh, amu amu atomic mass unit so essentially you're doing a weighted average um, where you take the, the weight and then you multiply by the percent abundance except convert that into decimal form by dividing by 100. All right, let's take a look at another example. Let's move this down so we have more space. And this example, or this question is asking us, what is the average atomic mass of neon given that it has three isotopes uh, with following percent abundances? So we have neon 20 with that mass and that's the percent abundance. Neon 21 with that exact mass and that abundance. And then we have neon 22 with that mass, but we're not given an abundance. So let's let's rewrite this in the table so it's uh, easier to see. We'll include the exact mass um, and then the percent abundance. So for neon 20, the exact mass is 19.992 AMU, and the percent abundance is 90.51%. And then for 21, it's 20.993 AMU, uh, and it's 0.27% abundance. And then the last one is 22, and its exact mass is 21.991 AMU. And that's 993. And we're not given the percent abundance, but we know that the total percent should add up to 100%. So we can then just take 100% minus 90.51 minus 0 0.27, and that'll give us the percent abundance of the remaining isotope. And that will be. nine point two two percent. Now that we have all the now that we have all the percentages, we can uh, convert them into the the decimal form. So just divide everything by hundred. So divide this by hundred, divide this by hundred, and divide this by hundred, and then that'll give you zero point nine zero five one. This will be zero point zero zero two seven and then that'll be zero point zero 922. And now that you have the masses, um, let me use a different color, now that you have the masses and the, the decimals, you just multiply them together um, and then add. So then we're going to do 19.992 multiplied by 0 0.9051 plus, so that be the first isotope, then for the second isotope 20.993 multiply it by 0 0.0027 and then add the uh, product of the last isotopes. So that'll be 21.991 multiplied by 0 0.0922. And then we enter that into the calculator and we'll get the average atomic mass of approximately 20 point, uh, 20.18 AMU. Okay, let's take a look at one last example. This last example 
says a sample of element X, we don't know what element X is, it contains 100 atoms with a mass of 12, uh, 100 atoms that have a mass of 12, and then 10 atoms that has a mass of 14. So let's just rewrite that here. We have 100 atoms with a mass of 12.00, and then we have 10 atoms with a mass of 14.00. And then we have to calculate the average atomic mass, AMU, and we have to determine what's the most likely identity of element X. So we have the we have the exact weights already right here, 12 and 14. We have to figure out the percent abundance. So to figure out the percent abundance, we can just take the the, the amount of one of the atoms divided by the total. So the percent abundance for this would be 100, because we have 100 atoms divided by the total. The total is 110, so 100 divided by 110, and that will be 0 0.909 approximately, and that will be the percent abundance of the the isotope that weighs 12. And then for the isotope that weighs 10, we take the number of, I mean the isotope that weighs 14, we take the number of atoms, which is 10, divided by the total, 110. 10 divided by 110, and that will give us 0 0.0991 uh, approximately. You, and then these add up to 1, which is 100%. So now that we have the, let's switch back, now that we have the, the mass and, and the decimal, we can just, again, multiply and add. So we'll take first take the mass of the, of the first isotope, 12.00, multiplied by the decimal, plus the mass of the second isotope, multiplied by the decimal, plug that into the calculator and we get 12.18 AMU. So that's going to be the average atomic mass of element X. Now to determine what's the most likely identity of element X, we have to take a look at the periodic table. Now we shift over to a periodic table, you can see that 12.18, the closest element that has 12.18, will it's going to be carbon. So that means the most likely identity of element X is carbon. And that's how you calculate average atomic mass from the percent abundances. First, uh, make sure you have all the percent abundances. If you don't, if you're missing one, then uh, you know that the percent abundances have to add up to 100%, so just take 100, subtract by the numbers that are given. And then once you have the percent abundances, just divide everything by 100% to get into decimal form. And then lastly, take the mass, multiply by the decimal one isotope, and then add it to the mass, multiply by the percentage of the rest type isotopes, and that would be your final answer in AMU. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.